Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a foundation review video on the foundation that I recently picked up from Target and it is called the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation and it does have SPF 20 in it. And let's take a look at this bottle. Isn't he a cutie? I love the shape of this bottle. It's just, it makes it easier to hold in your hand. And truth be told, I did drop this foundation right before I started filming. And since this thing is made out of glass, I was afraid that foundation was gonna spill all over my floor but this bad boy bounced right back up and it was still intact as you can see so even though it is glass you don't have to worry about it shattering because like I said I dropped it from my vanity to the floor and it is still intact so that's one plus in my eyes because I do tend to be a little bit clumsy with my foundation so the fact that it held up through the drop it's a winner in my book. So I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on this foundation. This will be a first impression video. I do have a demo of me applying it and then giving you guys my thoughts after I've applied my makeup. And then I will be coming back later on this evening just to share with you guys my final thoughts on the foundation. So if you guys want to check out the review on this video, then keep watching. So I've already primed my face using these two primers. This one, the Smashbox Photo Ready Primer. I used it all over my face. And then in my T-zone area, I did use the Benefit Professional. Since I do live in a climate that is very humid I need as much protection from the oiliness of my skin and then I use the Smashbox hydrating under eye primer for under my eye area I never heard anything about this foundation so that's why I wanted to test it out and let you guys know what my thoughts are and the darkest shade that they had was 95 coconut so I'm gonna try it out and see if it matches my skin tone and how it handles the oiliness of my face it does say it comes with sunscreen of SPF 20 I do like to put on sunscreen in the morning but if my foundation already has sunscreen I can eliminate that step and and just go straight to applying my foundation. The only downside that I see to this so far is that this is not a full fluid ounce of foundation. It is a 0.67 fluid ounce. So for $8.99, this foundation is a little bit more pricier than all the other drugstore foundation. It does say to shake it well before you apply the foundation and it does sound very, very liquidy. So we'll see how it applies. It is a very, very watery foundation. But look at this applicator. I've never seen a foundation come with an applicator like this before. Hmm. It says here to shake well, dispense to fingertips, and then apply it to your face. I have this thing where I don't apply foundation with my fingertips, so I will be using a brush to apply it to my face. But if you wanted to, you can apply it with your fingers. So I'm going to take a couple drops. Oh, how do I make this work? Okay, I'll just dab it like this. It's very liquidy. So I'll just take a couple dabs and apply it to the back of my hand, like so. I can already tell by looking at this foundation, it does have reddish undertones. So if you are my skin tone and you have reddish undertones, this foundation may work for you. But if you have yellowish undertones, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. And like I said, this is the darkest shade that they had, which is 95 Coconut. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. powder brush and I'm gonna apply it to my face. Let me bring my mirror closer and I'm going to see if this foundation covers up the dark spots that I have on my face as well as my under eye darkness. So we'll see how it applies. As I'm applying the foundation, I can see that it is giving me a very natural coverage it's not too thick it's not too cakey um i feel like my skin can breathe and i feel like it's very lightweight i like it so far i think this will be a great foundation for summer if it does hold up to the humidity I want to say I applied about 8 to 10 drops on the back of my hand and that's what I used to cover up my face. As you can see, some of my dark spots are still showing through the foundation, but that's nothing a concealer cannot cover. But for right now, I do like the fact that it is very lightweight. It doesn't even feel like I have foundation on and it has dried to sort of a powdery finish. So I feel like if I just wanted to just go with a no makeup makeup kind of look, I can use this foundation and just apply my concealer, some pressed powder, lip gloss and put on some mascara and be ready to go out the house and be done with my face so I adjusted my light so that way you guys can see what the foundation looks like even better on my skin 
And I think 95 Coconut is a pretty good match to my skin tone. I wish there was a wider variety of colors that you can choose from. I will check online to see if there are darker shades than the 95 Coconut. And if they are, I will link it down below so that way you guys can check it out if you are interested in the foundation, but you are a bit darker than I am. So let me go ahead and finish getting ready and I will be right back. So I'm back with a full face of makeup and my hair done. And I'm getting ready to start my day and go and run my errands and then head out later on this evening. It is currently 3.23 in the afternoon so I'm going to just finish up this video here and get ready for the rest of the day but I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts so far on the foundation after I've applied my concealer my blush everything I've had the foundation on so far for an hour and some change I don't know exactly how long but my face feels flawless when I do apply my foundation since I am a little bit more on the oily side I do have to touch it up especially if I've applied my foundation for over an hour or so because the oils tend to seep out because of how heavily oiled my skin is but for right now I had not touched up my face I've just been wearing it like this for an hour and something and it still looks flawless I did apply my concealer with no problem my blush my contour and my highlight went on with no problem and yeah I am really liking the foundation so far I will be back with my final thoughts later on this evening just to see how it held up throughout the day but for right now I am really really liking it I think it's gonna make a great foundation for the summer especially in the hotter temperatures if you live in humid places like I do I think this might be the winner especially since it has SPF in it so I will be back and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts I am back with a final update on the foundation I literally just got home and took off all my clothes and I am now getting ready to get ready for bed but before I do I wanted to share with you guys my final thoughts on the foundation it is currently 11 54 in the evening so I've had this foundation on since to something in the afternoon and it's almost midnight I have to say I really really do like it it does feel lightweight on my face I actually feel like I do not have any makeup on sometimes towards the end of the evening after wearing makeup on my face for a long period of time I just want to come home and just take everything off and I don't even feel like I'm wearing the foundation I absolutely love how my skin is breathing through it I don't have any issues with it transferring I did get a little bit oily and as you can see I'm still a little bit oily here on my forehead and in my t-zones and in my cheek area but not as much as I would be with other foundations I know it has a lot to do with the primer that I was using but there's some foundation even with the primer I do tend to get a lot oily here I did have to touch up my face prior to me leaving for the rest of the day and I used the Neutrogena shine control powder and it just helped to eliminate the shininess the shininess and the oiliness on my face so I was able to put my powder over my face and I just had to touch up my blush because I knew I was going out and I just wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant but as you can see I still have have my highlight on my face and the blush and my contour and my foundation is still on I am starting to see a bit of a wear down on my chin area but for the most part my foundation is still intact normally I have foundation that settles here in my smile lines and I don't see any of the foundation settling here if you do see this foundation in your local drugstore or your local Target I definitely recommend it I think it's gonna be a great foundation for the summer it feels lightweight it's not heavy on the skin I feel like my my skin can breathe and I feel like as the day went on and the foundation was wearing on my skin I felt like my foundation was getting better and better it didn't oxidize to a strange color it didn't oxidize to a darker color it just look better and better with me wearing it throughout the day and I really do enjoy this foundation I have nothing bad to say about it with the exception of the size of the bottle but I do recommend that you guys pick it up so if you see it at your local drugstore or your local Target definitely try it out I think it would be a great foundation for summer I am enjoying this foundation so far and if I forgot to mention anything else I will definitely leave it down in the description box so that way you guys can get a little bit more information so yeah that's everything I wanted to share with you guys on this foundation if you guys have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer it for you guys and um yeah that's everything i wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll talk to you guys later bye mm -hmm.